the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. Today we ask the Lord to grant us the desire to perfect ourselves instead of being worried about what others do. And to start our celebration, let us ask for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Proud Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you once were alienated and hostile in mind because of evil deeds. God has now reconciled you in the fleshly body of Christ through his death to present you holy without blemish and irreproachable before him, provided that you persevere in the faith firmly grounded, stable, and not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, am a minister. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. God himself is my help. God himself is my help. O oh God, by your name, save me and by your might defend my cause. O oh God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. God himself is my help. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O oh Lord, for its goodness. God himself is my help. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some Pharisees said, why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God took the bread of offering, which only the priest could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm sure that uh, more than once you have asked yourself, can I do X chore during my weekend? 
And it's because probably during the week you are working, and when you come back home, you are tired, and you are like, huh, I don't want to do it. And you say, I'll do it either Saturday or Sunday. And then Sunday comes, and you are like, well, it's the day of the Lord. Should I do it or not? Right? And pretty often, people will ask about this, and I say, well, you know, have you gone to church? Yes. Have you dedicated time to your family? Yes. Okay, do you need something, or something has to be done that is urgent? Sort of, then just do it. I mean, you have fulfilled what is needed. Of course, the law for the law, you will say, no, it's dedicated to the Lord. But if you are dedicating the time just to, you know, senseless things, or just to be sitting there without even talking to the members of your family, go and cut the lawn, you know? <laughs> or if you are just watching TV, which is no wrong in itself, you know, but it's not helping you at all, go and do something. It's going to be healthy, right? So the Lord is saying, you know, why do you get so stuck with the law and you don't understand the need in front of you? And we are pretty good in getting stuck in what is written because then we say, I want to fulfill everything in order for me to receive the grace of God or to receive heaven. But we forget that heaven is granted to us, not only there, but here. That means, are we participating already of the life of God? Are we taking part of the glory of God in our daily lives? Because the first thing is telling us today, you know, you have been granted the gifts of God with the only condition that you persevere. That means we have to collaborate with God. We have to be participants of his work of salvation. It's no magic, okay? Or it's not a payment. Either we participate with the grace of God and better ourselves when there is no way something is going to happen. So I guess that we are invited really to say, hey, can I be sensitive to the task in front of me, to the needs not only of myself, but also of people? Because then that helps us to understand that, yes, uh, we may say the law says this, but well, okay, can I give life? Can I, make, can I help people to become better? And probably that practically trumps the law, right? Saying, I'm doing something good for someone else or even for myself. So we ask the Lord to give us, grant us um, this gift of discernment of what is good, what goes according to his will, and to persevere on it. Please all rise, and let us offer to God our petitions and our needs. For all priests, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them in living their vocation with the courage and dedication exemplified by St. Peter Claver. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the salvation of all people, may God draw all hearts to the fullness of truth and repentance of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who experience hunger or food insecurity, may the Lord sustain them and help and lead them to where they will find assistance and welcome. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our community of faith, may the grace of the sacraments help us to grow in generosity and kindness. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, may Christ the King and all the angels and saints welcome them at the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition, thank you, book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the deceased, Ivanka Modic, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Father of mercies, hear these our prayers and those that we have kept in our hearts, grant them according to your will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to you with goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to you with goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the most blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extending your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the loveliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that you should enter, but only say the word.
Let us pray. Renew with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds. To Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen. After the Eucharist, there is not going to be an exposition of the Blessed Sacrament because there is a funeral later today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ.